The book we're going to read today is entitled P is for Potato. It's an Idaho alphabet. And this is written by Stan and Joyce Steiner and illustrated by Jocelyn Schlack. This is a great book. It was donated uh, by State Representative Elaine Smith. I really like this book. A is for Appaloosa Steed, Idaho's own magnificent breed developed by the Nez Pierce, a horse of intelligence, beauty, and speed. And just look at these beautiful Appaloosa horses that they have, and you can see them playing up here on the hill. And they're running, and you can see the Indians that are riding those, chasing the buffalo. And you can see that they uh, have even got a, a petroglyph on there. Okay, B is for Boise, the city of trees. The capital of Idaho, a river runs through the middle of the town where herons go fishing with hardly a sound. Of course, a heron is a, is a bird, and there's a picture of one there in the river. And you can see the little boy riding his bike there. And gee, that's a pretty picture of Boise, our state capital. Now, C is for Craters of the Moon, a national monument formed by lava. A long time ago, a land of black rock twisted and bent. And you know, I've been to Craters of the Moon. It's an amazing place. And it does look like it's just a part of the moon, but it's actually lava rock. And you can see this uh, marmot that's out there. Very interesting. Okay, our next one is D, the letter D. And D is the deepest river gorge, Hell's Canyon, formed many years ago. The mighty Snake River flooded and flowed and wore down the rocks below. And I've been down this uh, canyon on a raft. I don't see anybody rafting down in the river today on this picture, but I do see these mountain goats that are up there. And when I was there, I saw mountain goats. And you can see how the Indians have drawn pictures of the animals on the rocks. E. So what is E? E is for Emma Edwards Green, who went to school to be an artist. She painted the seal for the 43rd state with a river and a mountain miner and harvest. So let's see if we can find them. Do you see the river? You see the river and the man plowing? And do you see the, uh, the miner who's working there? Oh, and look at all of the th crops that they harvested here in Idaho. And there's the Lady of Justice. And uh, of course, the state seal says Esto Perpetua, which means it will go on forever. Let this continue. There's a picture of the lady who drew that. Oh, that brings us to letter F. So F is uh, bristly branches, towering trees, animal homes, flowing streams. Follow the path, smell the air, F is a forest, lovely and rare. Oh yes, look at this. I love uh, living out in the forest. I have a, my house is in a forest in Idaho and I love living out in the woods like this. Okay, our next letter is letter G. And G, I bet it's for gold. If you dig the dirt in just the right spot, you might find a treasure that's worth a lot. We have garnets and opals and flakes of gold. G is for gem state, that's Idaho. Yes, Idaho is the gem state. And you can see these uh, folks are looking for gems. Look at this boy. He's working with his grandpa, who has uh, got a little sluice box. And they're down in the river looking for some gold. Here's some gold nuggets and garnets. There's a lot of... Um, garnets up in the north part of Idaho. Okay, so now we're to letter H. There's the letter H. H, splash on in and soak a while. H is a hot tub, natural style. Hot water springs from deep underground make a pool you can swim in all year round. Isn't that fun? We do have a lot of nice hot baths in Idaho, and look at how beautiful. You can even see just one little bit of the moon up there, and these people are down in the hot springs taking a bath. 
not fun. You can see their skiers. See, those are their skis. And there's the lodge. And then in their skiing. Isn't that fun? Okay, this is the letter I. And I, what would I be? Oh, well, I is for irrigating crops, which helps the plants to grow. Farmers get water from rivers and lakes. The land is too dry in Idaho. And so this is the irrigation pipes, the irrigation line. They have to move those wheels. They, they can turn them around and around. But where do they get the water from? Well, they get the water whenever it rains. They catch the water in a dam and then they let it out through a river. And that's how they water those crops. So that's, that is I for irrigation. Now we're to the letter J. J is for June, when syringa blooms with a fragrance so sweet it could fill a room. Snowy white blossoms on each bough. Syringa is Idaho's lovely state flower. When we see the syringa, it's a beautiful flower. And look at that Indian over there. He's just uh, gathering that up and he's making uh, some, something special out of that. Oh, well, look at this. This is the letter K, and it must be for Ketchum. Ketchum is our word for K, a wonderful place to ski and play. Powdery snow brings skiers west. Sun Valley is how we know it best, and that is Peekaboo. And Peekaboo um, was in the Olympics. Her last name is Street, and she won in 1998 in uh, Nagano, uh, Japan. And of course, they start up here at the top, they get a ski lift and they go all the way down, all the way down, and then there is, uh, the, at the bottom, they pick you up and they take you back up to the top. I've been to Sun Valley many times. Look at this guy. He's skiing, crossed right there, isn't that fun? Okay, L. So L is the lure on a fishing line cast over waters that sparkle and shine. The anglers hope the bait will work and a cutthroat trout will bite the hook. So what do you think we see? We see a fisherman and he has a, a lure on his line. He's trying to lure the fish in. And you can see that fishing line. And there's a Rocky Mountain Bluebird. And that's our, our next one, I think. Oh, it's, Mount, it's M. So we're now to letter M. M. M is for Mount Bora and Monarch Butterfly. Our choices for M decorate the sky and a bright shock of blue flies swiftly past. It's the mountain bluebird returning at last. Every year we get these beautiful bluebirds. They live up to our house, a lot of them, and, and they go in pairs and one of them will watch out while the other one goes and looks for food. Well, this brings us to the letter N. N, and what do we have here? N is for native people, the first Americans. They built their camps and villages all across this land. They fished in its tumbling waters. They gathered plants for food. They roamed the hills of Idaho, a land that they understood. Oh, look at this. See that man there, he's shooting his bow and there's the teepees where they live and they're gathering roots over there. Look at these fine people. And here's a little Indian boy with his hair standing straight up. Can you see this spear that this Indian has here? And here's an Indian lady. And this one is a, has a baby and she's a, got a, her baby's on a papoose board. And there's another lady, and there's the chief, one of the chiefs. See how they have their headdress? Isn't that fun? Oh, and what is O? O. Well, O is for Oregon Trail. So hot and dry in Idaho. Dust and sage mile after mile, and still a long, long way to go. Oh, look at these pioneers. We don't travel like this anymore, but they used to, and they stay together because they had to. And it looks like they're out either in the snow or in the water. 
crossing there, all these plains, isn't that something? And you can see here, here's the fort. The fort is where they would go for protection and to trade goods. Okay, now P, this is the name of our book, P is for potato. So French fries and hash browns, bakers and chips with water, the Idaho desert can grow spuds for you, spuds for me. Of course, spuds are the name, that's what we call potatoes in Idaho. And this is, this is a funny picture. Look at that potato, it's so big it fills up one whole truck, which of course is just a, it's just a joke, but this is a, a wagon. You can see the French fried potatoes and the baked potatoes and the potato chips. And there's Mr. Potato right there. Isn't that fun? Yeah, P is for potato. Oh, and what? now we're at Q. Q. Q is for quinceanera, is our word for Q to celebrate, is what we do. A girl shows up with a lovely... With love and pride, her family has been her guide. So we have a lot of Spanish-speaking people who live in Idaho, and when the girls turn 15, they have a quinceanera. Isn't that fun? So that's a neat tradition here, too. Oh, we're to letter R. Letter R. What is for R? Splash, swim raft in the sun paddle the rapids for thrilling fun or watch a blue heron stalking a fish r is a river rushing along isn't that fun look at those boys and girls up there in that raft and in the water i've gone down a lot of rivers in a raft rubber raft and there's the heron that he was talking about wow isn't that fun wouldn't that be a lot of fun to go out in the river today and See that? Okay, now we're to the letter S. Letter S. When Lewis and Clark explored the West, one brave young woman assisted their quest. A valuable member of the crew, S is for Sacagawea. And you can see she had a baby. Can you imagine? And she guided these men. This is Lewis and Clark. And they came right through Idaho. Boy, that, that was a wonderful thing when they explored here. First white man to come out here. T, this is the letter T. And of course, T is for technology, computers and internet and TV. Many people in Idaho work for high tech companies. And of course, the television was invented in Idaho. And uh, I think that it was Philo T. Farnsworth of Rigby, Idaho, and he's known as the father of television. Uh, he had that idea when he was only 14 years old. Of course, we have lots of high tech in Idaho. Oh, now we're to the letter U. U stands for Union Pacific. The railroad came to Idaho. It opened the West to a brand new plan. Settlers came to claim the land. And this is the train. Can you see it pulling? through the station, and I see something funny up here. The train is crossing a bridge, and what's it pulling? A train full of potatoes. Oh, that's so funny. Very funny. So that's the letter U. We're almost through the alphabet now. We're to the letter V. The letter V is for vaccinium, yum. The huckleberry fruit, that's what we call it. If you walk along the wooded trail, be sure to take your pail. Wow, look at that, they're gathering huckleberries. We have lots of berries in Idaho. Elderberries, choke cherries. Now we're to W. And w is a wonderful place, the world center for birds of prey. Scientists work to find a way to help endangered species or endangered birds survive. And you can see that bird of prey right there. There's others, there's the bald eagle. I saw one of those just yesterday and I saw an owl just two days ago. So we see these birds all the time. Hawks and there's a hawk there too. Yeah, we have lots of birds of prey 
in Idaho, very common. X, a spry lilting sound tickles your ears and makes you want to leap up and dance. Our word X were, is a three hole recorder brought by Basque people of Spain and France. Wow, well that's a new one, isn't it? Look at them playing that. It's a, a tsitsu, tsitsu, tsitsu. Very interesting. Maybe it's chitsu, chitsu. I've never, I've never seen that before. So even, even I learned something today. So here's the letter Y. The letter Y. Y. Emma Yerian earns our Y. She knew how to care for orphaned lambs. She raised them all with a patient hand, and her sheep ranch grew across the land. Look, she's an older lady, but she's a pretty neat lady because she went to the uh, legislature and became one of the largest landowners in Idaho. Very interesting. Well, look, we're all to the end now. This is Z. Z is for zinc. That's a useful rock. Idaho mines, mines produce a lot. If you want to keep the rust away, a coat of zinc is the very best way. Of course, here's the mine for the zinc. What a great book this was. Oh, I did enjoy this. A vast landscape full of facts here. Isn't that fun? This is a great book, and here's the answers, but I'm not going to give you the answers. So that's our book for today. P is for potato. It's an Idaho alphabet. I hope you enjoyed this book.